Today, in our infographic lab robot series, we are going to talk about our silicon nib. And this web page that you are seeing uh, over the screen, uh, it depicts everything that is regarding this uh, core dilemma. And uh, of course, the spectrum of risk around this very advanced humanoid robots. And uh, if you want to read this page, the link is in the description below. And I usually keep this web pages in my GitHub repository to, for your visits. Anyway, now the thing is, uh, before we start, let me tell you one thing that we are on the verge of creating incredibly advanced humanoid robots. Why I am telling so? Because some design for personal companionship, some design for uh, industrial purposes, other purposes, other various sectors for various sectors. While this technology is amazing, it raises a critical question. The question is, should we regulate these robots before they become widespread? Why is this question very important? Because you can see that in this figure, in this figure, the humanoid robot industry is no longer a science fiction. It's a rapidly growing market projected to explode in value. And that is by 2026. That means within one year, it will reach 13.8. That means almost 14 billion dollar industry a very big big amount okay before we proceed let me tell you one thing if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe it means a lot to me and if you have already subscribed lots of thanks for your support and believe it or not, in 20 years or max 25 years, there will be billions of humanoid robots all over the world, especially the developed country. In my previous video, in my previous infographic series, I have discussed about how in by 2030 or by uh, 2035, that means in 10 years, in developed countries, the in number of robots will be increased in such a vast amount in such a huge amount that there will be a lot of disruption not only disruptions the concern isn't about today's artificial intelligence which mostly mimics human language not more than that at present what you see in ChatGPT or Gemini Pro or Meta or some other uh, chatbots they are basically mimic human language not more than that but the futuristic super intelligence super intelligence which is coming very soon in some experts say in uh, five years in 10 years max not more than that in 10 years max super intelligence will take over and that could genuinely think and understand the environment just like humans Therefore, placing this kind of powerful AI into a human-like body creates enormous risks if it falls into the wrong hands. That is why I am creating this web page and you can see that promise versus peril. That means for every story of comfort and assistance for the lonely, there is shadow of misuses and unintended consequences. Public perception is sharply divided on the path forward. You can see that potentially uh, it is potential for good that is uh, if you think of healthcare then potential for good is vast that means it is almost 90 percent and in healthcare uh, potential for harm is only 40 percent so people believe that no ai will do a great job in healthcare and i also believe that but in companionship major people major people think that 80 percent think that potential for good is very uh, there is a lot of potentiality 80 percent people believe that okay it's okay and uh, human part is 70 percent that means they are very close and for manufacturing process purpose and others where a lot of disruptions will 
happen lot of uh, displacement of jobs will happen 75 percent people think that okay uh, there will be a lot of good things will happen more jobs will be created along and uh, potential for harm is 50 percent because of unemployment I, I see no other reason and custom uh, customer services is 60 uh, percent think that okay it will be okay but of course 65 percent think no in customer service they will uh, mislead or give misinformation might uh, spread misinformation in uh, military and security which is which is very very important this ai that means this super the presence of super intelligence might create havoc might create havoc why it will create havoc 20 percent people think that potential for good is only 20 percent only 20 percent 80 percent is harm and potential for harm is 95 percent it will be used for killing people and that is not a very good idea not at all a very good idea for humanity that is why we are concerned okay and believe me these robots could be used to spread misinformation a physical robot telling you a lie might be far more convincing than a fake video online isn't it and uh, our trust will be eroded in reality it, 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 it is already eroding it is already falling down second they could cause mass in unemployment by not just automating physical jobs but also roles that require human interaction like companionship i you know that i am talking about lab robots or customer service third the same technology that makes a robot a good companion could also make it a perfect soldier or spy which is very very dangerous i just show you Creating new dangers in warfare. It, it will create new dangers in warfare. Finally, these robots designed to be our confidants could collect our most intimate data, leading to major privacy breaches or manipulation. Now, there are a lot of things to see in this web page. You can see this spectrum of risk. And in this neural network uh, graphics, the integration of super intelligence into physical bodies presents a complex wave of social risk. How? You can see that psychological manipulation that means here psychological manipulation the pro that means perceived risk level is seven whereas the intimate data and privacy breach perceived risk level is nine and these are out of ten out of ten this is nine and here the perceived uh, psychological manipulation is seven and if we come to autonomous military applications perceived risk level is ten out of ten it is ten and if we come to our uh, misinformation and propaganda purposes, there is perceived uh, uh, in risk is level is nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. It could spread a lot of misinformation and widespread job displacement. Of course, perceived uh, risk level is eight out of ten. So there are a lot of risks regarding this uh, super intelligence and the oncoming uh, the deluge of misinformation and all other things. And there are a lot of things uh, need to be done. First of all, ethical programming is a core. Uh, that means do no harm directives should be regulated, should be should be given should these instructions. Transparent audits are required. Okay, transparent audits are required. Clear leveling is required. That means users must always know it's an AI, synthetic content, right? And ongoing dialogue, that means public discourse, not secret boardrooms uh, decisions by the capitalists no there should be a very transparent very uh, publicly debated uh, view on ai and super intelligence should be placed before us okay so that we can decide on ai and finally the code dilemma is a really really big point because you know that if it is regulated by the government by the nations uh, and uh, government officials the problem is that uh, it will stifle innovation no doubt if something is regulated a lot of regulation is just uh, if, if we force down on it then it will stifle its innovation but risk uh, so, uh, society that means unfettered growth, growth that means we don't regulate it that is also very harm that could also lead uh, that could also lead to uh, harm harmful natures because it could fall into the hands of the bad guys and you know what it will happen if it, this super intelligence and ai and this 
super intelligent robots uh, fall into the hands of the wrong guys because that is why some argue that regulation could slow down innovation the risk of not having rules is that we put too much trust in tech companies whose main goal is profit no doubt in it the solution may not be a simple law but a new social contract is necessary this would involve programming robots with a core ethical code like do no harm requiring public audits as i said or their software and ensuring people always know when they are interacting with an ai that means a synthetic content ultimately we face a major choice that is rush forward and risk breaking society or move carefully balancing incredible progress with our safety and well-being so be careful about this uh, ai and be transparent that is also that should be also our motto and of course some kind of regulation is there so that it will not go out of our hands so that is it thank you for joining us on this journey let's continue this conversation in the comments below if you like the video please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends share and subscribe for more insights if you have already subscribed tons of thanks for your support it means a lot to me and please consider signing up for membership zone to support wooden slate so that we can make it better and better see you in the next video till then goodbye take care and stay safe